Welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share my Smashbox Contour Palette with you guys. Um, actually, I've had this for, I believe, a year now, and I think I hauled it when I initially got it and then really have never said anything else about it other than the fact that I love it um, and the proof that I use it every day is right there in the palette. Um, but yeah, it's one of those products that I use on a daily basis and really don't think about because it's so easy it's right there um, that I don't mention it in a lot of my videos when I talk about my makeup I do you know the cheek color the lip color the eyes and stuff like that but I really don't ever talk about this um, so I have ordered a new one um, mostly because I get terrified to run out of things when they get this used up and so this one is slight you know it's dwindling down and I thought I need to have a backup that way I won't go so light-handed when I use it, because that's what happens when I hit pan on things. I go so light-handed that I don't want to use it up. Um, but if I have one as a backup, I'll use it like I regularly do, and I pretty much dig into these products. So this um, little Smashbox contour palette comes with a contour bronze and a highlight all in one. So you've got your bronze in the center, your contour, and then your highlight here. It is not a full-on glowy, like flashy, um, glittery highlight. It's just to shape your face. Like it's a true contour highlight powder. So if you want the excess uh, highlight, the like extra highlight, you definitely do need like a shimmer, you know, of course, another highlight product um, to get that real bright highlight. But for an everyday or just a more toned down highlight, I feel like this is good. So it's a true shaping highlight powder. Um, but I'm going to show you how I use it. I go fast and furious with this when I use it in the mornings. It's just something I don't have to think about, and I think it's because the brushes that I use help the products get on my face in just such an efficient manner. So for me, it's a matter of efficiency and just fast. This is half the size of a lot of my other contour products, and don't get me wrong, I love my other contour products. Um, this is just the one that I go to all the time. So like I said, I have another one coming. I was trying to wait for the other one to get here before I did a... Um, tutorial on it but truthfully I can't wait any longer <laughs> it just seems like it's taking forever to get here and it's coming with my subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills so I'm just like ah, I can't get here fast enough um, but let me go ahead and get started so I show you how to use this or how I use this thank you for watching my eyes with my Kat Von D palette I just used these neutral shades right here all four of them and then I do have on some lipstick it's the NYX whipped lipstick in pink cloud I just slap that on and I'm going to go ahead and get out my Smashbox contour palette I've been waiting for my new one um, because I'm wearing this one out but I can't wait any longer so <laughs> I'm just gonna do the tutorial today um, but I do have a new one coming from Sephora in the mail so here's the palette and you have let's see if I can get it there you go you have a contour powder, a bronzer, and a highlight right here. And I'm gonna go ahead with my 109 and dip into the bronzer in the center. Um, I really have to work now because the product is only on the out line, the rim of the pan. Um, so I'm having to like really work to get product. But initially when it's full, it's easy. So with bronzer, I just go into the sides of my cheeks and I dab that on with the 109. And then I do the perimeter of my hair. And I really do go fast when I'm using this product. I go around the perimeter of my face. Um, and like I said, I only have to pick up so much because I have such a small amount left in the pan. Um, and then I do go down the sides of my nose. And that is all I do with the bronzer. Then with my NARS Eda brush, I dip into that contour shade, which is the top one. And this contour, the bronzer, I feel like is great. It's not muddy. It's perfect for my skin tone. This contour palette does come in two colors, but for me, the light one is the best. Um, and then the contour powder is not gray at all. And sometimes contour powders will be very gray on me because of my pale skin. This is perfect. So I go in and I just, with the NARS Eda brush, you just basically create that shadow here and it's easy with this brush because you just have so much control since the brush does all the work and that's what I love that's why my brushes are so special to me because I feel like the ones that I have in my collection the ones that I use they do all the work for me I don't feel like I have to do anything so this is just getting that contour on there and then I brush it up kind of onto my cheek so that it blends with my blush and then I will also go onto the temples just right in here for my nose, I use this little angled brush. This is by um, 
B Cosmetics, I think. I will link them down below, all the brushes that I use. And with that contour powder, I literally just go down the sides of my nose, just like so, to create depth and this one I do have to work a little bit harder and blend a little bit better and then I also go right here down the cupid's bow right there so that is it for that and I will go in my finger and just kind of clean up that little edge right in here because I feel like I don't blend it out as well and then lastly that highlight powder that you see right here I will go in with my ABH Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills A23, and that just goes onto the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, the center of my forehead, and then down my nose, and right here above my cupid's bow, and my chin. And that is it for highlight. Now let me get my blush brush out. So then for blush today, I'm going to use Sweets for my Sweet by MAC, and my 137 brush. And I use this whenever I want a very light application of blush. It gives me a very feather light application. You're gonna see my son, he's going back and forth behind me. Um, but then that just goes onto my cheekbones or my high points right in here. And like I said, this gives a very, very light application. If you want a heavier application of blush, definite 168. So this one, like I said, will give you, let me finish with this one first, just to get that on there. And then I'll show you this one just, you get a lot more bang right away than you do with the feather brush of the 137. Um, but if I'm going to use darker brushes, like in the fall, I like to use a lot darker, deeper toned blushes. So I will definitely use the feather light one versus the MAC 168. Although this one, because I know my blushes, I can control the amount. So that is it. And then with the highlight, I just kind of drag that onto my blush. And that is how I contour with the Smashbox Contour Palette. Um, so like I said, I really do love this. This is one of my absolute favorite products. It's so easy to just carry this versus this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Um, it's easier for me to carry this around. It's got all the three powders that I need. I don't need an extra highlight, um, a separate bronzer, or a separate contour powder, this is it. And so it's easy to grab in the mornings, it's easy to travel with, and like I said, it's literally half the size. So I really do love these contour powders, but I just find myself using this every single day and then taking it with me everywhere. Um, and like I said, I love it. If you forget what to do, it has a neat little instruction um, picture right here on the mirror, so you can always use that as your guide. I just kind of went in, I guess it's about the same, following the same kind of form that they used. Um, they have you taking it in here in some different areas, but I find the way I do it a little bit better. So um, I do use different brushes <laughs> to get the look that I like. But like I said, I feel like my brushes do the work for me so I can do things faster and um, be done quicker, but I do have a lot of brushes in the process. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.